Hello again. We're back with our readings from the Corpus of Early Arabic Sources for West African History, edited by Lef Zion and Hopkins. Today's reading will be a short, very short passage from Al-Tijani, writing in around 1308. Um, he was an Hafs, a Hafsid official, Abdallah Al-Tijani, I mean, who wrote briefly about Kanem in the uh, in the uh, twelve in the era around 1258. Let's begin. A son of Karakush was incorporated by the Caliph al Mustansir into his troops in the capital and was placed at the head of a section of them. But he was tempted to rebel and wished to follow in his father's footsteps. So he fled with a group of his companions and reached the land of Wadan where his father had been killed. He set that land ablaze, but the king of Kanem sent someone who killed him and relieved the land of his discord. His head was carried to his, the king of Kanem's, country and was paraded around there. That was, the ye that was in the year 656, 1258. So this brief passage from Al-Tijani, uh, from describing events from t around 1258, but written in 1308, is illustrative of Kanem's expansion into the Fazan and its interference and intervention in the, politi the politics of other uh, Saharan and North African states. Unfortunately, we don't really know who the king of Kanem may have been in 1258 unless we uh, go by the chronology of um, Lange and the, the Girgam. Um, it seems that this is a another great example of Kanem's uh, influence within northern Africa, not just around the Lake Chad region. We will return to this topic again in the future.